what's going on, everybody? You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We got a mailbag coming up for all of the real ones. We're just going to answer questions from subscribers. So if we didn't get to your question, that means you're not subscribed. So change it for free. Giants content every single day. Sumna says the Giants, hashtag Giants, assuming Evan Neal is healthy enough to start another game this season, do you get him in games to get reps? Or keep rolling out the O line for the past three weeks. I think that Tyree Phillips, Tyree Phillips has done a good job filling in for Evan Neal for the past four weeks and six out of the last seven games. But at the end of the day, the Giants made a major investment in Evan Neal when they selected him inside that top 10 in the 2022 NFL draft. I want to see Evan Neal get back out there so I can have more tape to evaluate, so I can make a better decision on what the Giants want to do going forward at that right tackle spot. I've said it time and time again here on this channel. The Giants cannot enter the 2024 season with Evan Neal being the only investment at that right tackle spot. Whether that means you draft another guy with a premium pick in the 2024 draft, or you sign a veteran free agent that could push him in the offseason. You have to have somebody else at right tackle that you feel confident in, because we've seen through two seasons. He's been up and down in performance, he's inconsistent, and he's injury prone. And I don't necessarily think any of those things are going to change going forward. So for me, Sumner, I am going to play Evan Neal those last three weeks, four weeks, if he's able to go. I want him to be able to go. That way I can come to a better conclusion of what the Giants need to do at that right tackle position going forward. Mike G with a $100 super chat. What up, Evan G? DeVito Tuesday to you in the G-Men continuity. Who is the guy you want as OC besides Dorsey if you can pick a guy? I truly do believe if the Giants move on from Mike Kafka, it is going to be Ken Dorsey at that offensive coordinator position. I think two other names that are going to be in the mix for other offensive coordinator positions across the National Football League, I think Eric Bieniemy, who's the offensive coordinator right now for the Washington Commanders, um, former offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, I think that whole staff in Washington is going to get fired. And... Um, <clears throat> I think he's shown this year with the ability to kind of put a productive offense around a young quarterback like Sam Howe is good. And then I've also been told that Darren Bevel, the quarterback coach for the Miami Dolphins, is somebody to keep an eye on. So when it comes to offensive coordinators, I think it's going to be Dorsey. He'd probably be my number one pick just because of the relationship he does have with Brian Dable. But I'd also keep my eyes on Bevel as well as Eric Bieniemy. $100 super chat for MG. Can we get the MGs in the chat? What a legend. Caesar says, do you believe in Christmas miracles? NYG versus Philly. Do I believe in Christmas miracles? I didn't until Tommy Cutlets joined the New York Giants. I, I've been critical. I've called him the worst quarterback in the NFL. I said Tyrod Taylor should be starting. But what he did on Monday night against the Green Bay Packers, pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. I believe in Christmas miracles because of this guy right here. If you want the Giants to beat the Eagles on Christmas Day, get the Tommy Cutlets going in the chat. I like how he does it like this. He goes thumb to middle finger. It's like, Tommy Cutlets, gabagoo. Shout out to Tommy DeVito, man. He's living his dream, and he deserves it. Ryan Brogan, what's up, fam? So we still drafted a QB in the first. My head is everywhere right now. I still think that it comes down to one simple thing, Ryan. If the Giants fall in love with a quarterback prospect in this draft, this may upset some people. But if Joe Shane and Brian Dable fall in love, and I mean fall in love, ready to get on a knee and ask him to marry him, I don't think that Tommy DeVito should stand in the way of that. But that's only if they fall in love with a quarterback prospect. And I think that's how any NFL team should operate. If you think there's a guy in the draft that you can go and get that is going to change the future of your team in the immediacy, uh, immediate future as well as the long-term future, you draft that guy. But what I've seen Tommy DeVito do over these last couple of games, it makes it maybe a little bit less likely that the Giants draft a quarterback considering they continue to fall down closer to 32 in the NFL draft order. Corey, what up, Corey? What's up, man? Appreciate the super chat, brother. Good to see you back on the channel. Says, Marcy, aside from Andrew Thomas and John Michael Schmitz, do we have another starter on the roster 
Then we sign a free agent and draft an offensive lineman. I believe that the left guard, right guard, and right tackle positions should be up for competition and grabs in the offseason. I'm not sure. I'm, no one outside of Andrew Thomas and John Michael Schmitz, like you've said, have done anything this year to be the written in ink starter at the left guard, right guard, or right tackle spot. The Giants are going to have three picks inside the top 50 this year. I think one of those picks needs to be an offensive lineman. I'm also signing an offensive lineman, like you mentioned, Corey. Um, invest in your offensive line. They've done it. Joe Shane has done that. He's spent multiple top picks. He signed Mark Lewinsky. He's drafted guys in the late rounds. Um, just fix it because I'm tired of watching every season and saying this team's being held back by the offensive line. I'm with you, Corey. Sign a free agent and draft an offensive lineman. That's what I'm doing. We'll get to more questions coming up from subscribers. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Factor. Go to factormeals.com slash GiantsChat50. Use the promo code GiantsChat50. And Factor is going to hook you up with 50% off your first order. Cross meal prepping off your list this holiday season with Factor. Skip the meal prep planning, grocery shopping, chopping, prepping, and cleaning up and get Factor's fresh, never frozen meals delivered to your door that are just ready in two minutes. All you have to do is heat and enjoy. Treat yourself to high quality, delicious meals over the holidays. Choose from 35 plus chef crafted meals every week that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. Whether it's calorie smart, vegan, veggie, protein plus, or more wholesome options. With Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. This December, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Head to factormeals.com slash giantchat50 and use code giantchat50 to get 50% off. That's code giantchat50 at factormeals.com slash giantchat50 to get 50% off. I'm a huge fan of Factor. If you live a busy lifestyle, don't have time to go to the store, don't want to cook, don't want to clean, Factor is for you. Factormeals.com slash giantschat50. Rob Jacob. What up, Rob? Is anyone nervous about our kicker these last few weeks? I'm always going to be nervous at that kicker spot as long as Randy Bullock is a member of the New York Giants. Um, I think I saw last, uh, excuse me, on Monday night that prior to the game when he kicked, he had, he was 7 of 13 in his career with less than two minutes in the game, and it's a potential go-ahead or game-winning kick. Uh, now I guess he's 8 and 14. I don't trust him. Uh, it stinks that Graham Gano got hurt this year because he's been absolutely money throughout his Giants career, but I'm with you, Rob. I am never going to be confident. And Randy Bullock, even though he made a really big kick on Monday night to beat the Green Bay Packers. Zach Vela, what up, Brody? Are we still looking to move on from Mike Kafka? I think there will be a conversation at the end of the year about what the Giants will do at Mike Kafka. What has it been, 22 games in a row the Giants have not scored on the opening drive? Like, at some point, you luck into an opening drive on a scripted drive. The Giants have not been able to do that. I think Kafka has done a good job in the sense of making a guy like Daniel Jones look good. And making a guy like Tommy DeVito look good. And making a guy like Tyrod, Tyrod Taylor look serviceable. Um, I think he would get another job in this league, whether that's offensive coordinator or QB coach. But uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, some of the plays on that Green Bay play game were just nauseating to see. Uh, I just don't know if I philosophically agree with how Mike Kafka wants to operate an offense. But he's an NFL OC and... I'm just a guy on YouTube talking about the Giants. Chase, uh, Chance. Jesus, I can't read. Chance, what up, bro? Do you think the Giants should draft Joe Alt? <laughs> Mr. Rick, you don't have to do that. Chance, do I think the Giants should draft Joe Alt? <sighs> I think Joe Alt's going to be a really good right tackle, but... Do you go and draft a right tackle inside the top 10 after you just drafted a right tackle in 2022? You drafted one in 2022 and you're going to draft one in 2024? I mean, look, if you don't believe in Evan Neal, you should make the pick. Absolutely. Absolutely should do it. Um, it's going to be a really tough decision for Joe Shane to make chance. I mean, look, if you're on the clock and the best player available is Joe Walt. I don't think anybody is going to be mad that the Giants invested in their offensive line. We've got a long way to go for the draft. How about we get Evan Neal back and we, and we judge him on these last four games? 
Pokey Moore says, I understand that winning games as a UDFA is big, regardless of the team we play. Do you think his real test comes when we play Philly? Also, if he beats the Eagles, does that end this combo? Look, if Tommy DeVito goes and beats the Eagles on Christmas, I mean, that's going to be your quarterback going into next year. But I, all, I also think that he's done already enough to at least be in that conversation. Um, the real test is this week against the, Se the Saints. Saints are a really good defense, man. Um, they got a defensive-minded head coach and a lot of talent on that side of the ball. Go beat the Saints in New Orleans, and we'll continue to have this conversation. You go and beat Philly, this might end the conversation of if Tommy DeVito is actually good because <sighs> Giants beating the Eagles on Christmas. That'd be pretty damn good. As always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you for tuning in to Giants Now by Chat Sports. If we didn't get to your question today, I apologize. Just make sure you subscribe and join us on Monday for our next live show, or maybe producer Patrick Seaton will put your question up. Thank you.